Okay, so we're told here that swimming one-fourth of a mile uses about the same number of calories as running one mile. So it takes you longer, right, in terms of distance to burn the same number of calories running than it would for swimming. And part A tells us that Gilda ran a 26-mile marathon. So that's, that's one number we're going to work with right there, 26-mile marathon. That's a run about how far would her sister have to swim to use the same number of calories Gilda used during the marathon. So, right, we want to find x, how many miles should you swim, right, to equal the same number of calories burnt on the run. Well, I guess we could use a ratio here because we know that a one mile run, right, is proportional to one-fourth of a mile swim. And this is always going to be constant here. So if we say, oh, we ran 26 miles, all right, that's scaling up the number of miles by 26. We should scale up the number of quarter-mile laps by 26. So to keep this ratio constant. So what is one-fourth right, times 26? What will that get us? Well, 26 divided by 4, I know four, go, 4 times 6 is 24, so that's 6, and what's left over is 2, so it's 6.5. And that means 6.5 miles. That's the number of miles that we would have to swim here, 6.5 6 miles. And then B says Juan swims 5 miles a day about how many miles would he have to run to use the same number of calories used during his swim. So we're using the same ratio, right, fourth of a mile swim. Now we know that we're going five miles. That's a five mile swim. Five mile swim. How many miles we have to run in order to keep this ratio going, which is the number of calories that are burning. Well now I see that I have to multiply one-fourth Right by what to get five? What to multiply it by twenty? So it's twenty groups of quarter mile swims, which also means I have to run twenty times one or twenty miles to burn the same number of calories. I'm just rescaling this ratio to match the different situations. All right, hope that helped.